hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing my paycheck budget for the second paycheck of august 2023 and we're going to be actually doing some cash stuffing for um my everyday spending cash wallet so i just want to check and see how all of you guys are actually doing um how is your budget going please let me know in the comments and despite all of this crazy stuff that is going on the internet y'all i am doing okay and thank you guys so much for all of your support you guys you guys be going to war for me so i'm like y'all got me okay all right so if that is something that you need to do also do your budget and your cash envelope stuffing because i know we definitely need to do our cash envelope stuffing because we ain't got no groceries so please grab your stuff y'all and come on let's move it on and let's get our cash stuffing done so let's go ahead and see how much cash we're actually going to be stuffing and y'all my nails are peeling so after this video um, i probably will work on some more orders and then i will um sit outside and do my nails y'all that's probably what we're doing. Oh, and I didn't even count this. Okay, so we got 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we got 320. Is that what we said we had? Yep, we got 320. All right, y'all, so I am like trying to work on these lives. Like I've been doing a couple on Instagram. And um, Chris, um, budgeting just because she is like a pro at it. So, and she's always so encouraging. <laughs> But I don't know what to talk about. So um, I'm writing down some things to kind of figure out what I need to say and what I need to talk about. So y'all bear with me right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead to our budget. And I cannot wait until my proof comes um, for my budget planner. So it should be, hopefully next week, I should be able to grab it. Okay. All right. So, um... Let's go ahead and take a look at our um, budget paycheck or paycheck budget and see what we have going on. And then we'll go ahead and add up some things for this. All right. So um, as you can see, the payday is the 18th. The week is the 18th through the 31st. And I'm just stopping at the end of the month. So the income we budgeted for 1400 rollover was 593.13. Actual was $5 less, which is 13.95 and 593.13. Same thing as a roller. So we got one four hundred plus five nine three thirteen, and that y'all. I have got different color ink all over this book. I've been using this pen. I've been using this pen. So I've been like switching it up. All right. So we got one thousand three ninety five plus five hundred ninety three dollars and thirteen cents. So we got one thousand nine eighty eight thirteen. Okay. All right. So this right here, basically, guys, is just like we say, it's a check ledger. These are basically our non-negotiable things that we need to get done, taken care of first. Um, and y'all, please remember that I am not a financial advisor, so I'm just basically showing you guys my journey. So, um, so hopefully, me going on this journey will help you guys go on your journey because now, basically, I am pretty much starting this junk back over. Um, subtract our daycare which um is eighty dollars in that pretty much slashed in half so that one thousand nine hundred eight thousand thirteen cents which is awesome um yeah you it's like sometimes it's like you're still paying money but when you see like it's slashed in half you do it does make a difference because i know sometimes you'll be like well i still have to pay that's kind of like what i was kind of doing but i was like the 165 compared to 80 um, I'll take the 80. So yeah, the 80 is a lot better. All right. So now minus the AEP, which is 139, which I was shocked <laughs> that the bill was that low, but, um, it's still that we were in the middle, like lingo of, um, going from one house to the other. So that could be the issue of why it's not a lot. So discover is 127. So we're going to subtract that. So we got $1,642.13. Um, what a bill. I still have not got a what a bill for our new house. So I'm not sure what is going on with that. I just don't want to get a big old huge double two month bill when they figure out to send it. So I'll probably call Monday just to check to make sure like, hey, what is going on? Because I did call before and she was like, you should get it towards the middle of the month. And it's pretty much almost like the middle of the month. So I'm not sure. All right. So after school again. We got eighty dollars, so one thousand five sixty-two, thirteen, and then the mortgage. I am doing um, 
pretty much half of it. Um, so we got 762.13. What I'm doing basically for the new mortgage is I'm splitting it in half and I'm actually paying extra um, towards it. So I will be putting part of it towards the principal. So that's why it's a little bit more than probably like goodness gracious. But I am putting more towards it to try to get it paid down quicker. Um, yeah, they did give me a, and I can't pronounce it, a, a more, a amortization. I don't know if I said that right. Um, she did give me an Excel spreadsheet where I can like plug in numbers. So I've been kind of like playing with that. So that is like a good thing. I know when I'm, I know like just putting a hundred dollars or $200 towards it seems discouraging right now because of the balance of it. But they say you have to look at it in the long run and that will totally add up. So hopefully that's what that's going to do. Okay. So we have savings, which is, I just automatically transfer that into my alley savings. $100 and then Roth IRA, which is automatically um, deducted and deposited into the Roth IRA. So that one is actually $200. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put $762. I forgot to put that down right there. All right. So grants, I am going to be adding another $100 extra to that because like I said, I want to make sure I pay it off. I want to pay it off before the 12 months and the interest free. Um, interest free. Yeah. And then they also have, we're doing the 18 month interest free, but um, I want to do it way before I want to go ahead and pay that off. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's flip over. All right, so now we get to the point where we're going to be cash stuffing. This is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So I kind of pretty much want to focus on that. Um, and that one is 320, which we're doing. And we are not going to be doing any sinking funds. Like I told you guys, it is okay. You do not have to do sinking fund stuffings every single time you get your paycheck and savings challenges you don't have to do that every single time you get your paycheck when i put a cross on here i ain't gonna lie i was in my feelings i was feeling some type of way but it's like sometimes i'll get like extra cash that i can kind of like give myself or if you sell things on facebook market yard place or if you do something for somebody and they pay you 50 or 40 bucks you can take that cash and you can pretty much use that to do savings challenges or if you did cut out a bill you cut out netflix you cut out paramount plus or you cut out um prime video or whatever whatnot you can take that extra cash that you were paying that and then use that for your savings challenges that's another good way to kind of look at it or if you do your cash envelopes and you have cash left over that right there you can use for your savings challenge also okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add up these expenses let's go ahead and do this first before we do our cash stuffing and then we will get that pretty much done okay so we got 1,226 and that should be the same for that. Okay, all right. So now all we need to do is just basically subtract our expense. So we got 76213. I told you guys, it's just like a checkbook ledger. Minus 200, so we have 562.13. So minus the 100. So we got 462.13. Yo, we were cutting it super close, <laughs> super close. Minus the 320, so we got 142.13. And then we have zero here, so that's 142.13. And we don't have anything for savings challenges, 142.13. And like I said, I would like to have money left over in my buffer than to have to stuff my savings challenges because if I have to go back into my savings challenges because I didn't leave enough in my buffer, doing my savings challenge, it was like it wasn't even like I didn't do anything because I still had to use the money so you want to make sure that when you do it in your savings challenges not saying you're not going to have to use it or your sinking funds um but yeah so if you have to keep pulling it out you shouldn't have to keep stuffing it because what I was going to do was I was going to actually add here to what was that oh I was going to add to appliances because I do want Stainly steel applies is so bad, but like I said, I can pretty much wait for it. So it's not like a, like a, I need it right then and there. So, so that's why I was like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and check ourselves. Let's do our income. All right. So our income is 1,988.13. So 1,988.13. And we're going to subtract all of our expenses, which is 226 plus 200 plus the 100 for the grand. Can't wait till I pay that all, plus 320. 
All right, so we got 1,846. Right, so, so let's add 198813 minus 1846. All right, so we got the 14213. So that matches that. So that's what we have left in our buffer. All right, buffer is what you have left in your checking account to cover to get you until your next um, cash envelope stuffing or a next payday. That's how we're going to say it. All right, I'm going to take this out right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's stuff our binder. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and stuff our binder here. I'm gonna put this under here. This always works better. <laughs> All right, so, and I will fill out my trackers um, after I do this video just to keep it short and sweet. All right, so Boba, we are actually gonna be doing $5 and we don't have anything left in there, so that'll give us $5. And I did stop at the little Boba truck. I love those little trucks. Okay. All right, next we have Chris. Chris, y'all. I probably wanna go get me a salad today since I just stuffed my envelope. So we don't have anything left in there. So we're gonna be adding $15. So we're gonna do a 10 and a five. All right, so we got 10, 15, and Chris. All right, so groceries. So we don't have anything, no meats. We actually use all of the meats that we brought from our last cash envelope stuffing. And we were able to just fix things that we need and not go to the store or go eat out. So that was like a blessing. That was like, mind power so we were able to actually do that and i am like super proud we don't have any money in here but we were able to use what we brought at the store so now it's like down to the bare minimums and y'all aiden went without his applesauce because usually we'll go back to the store and buy the little green squirt pouches he don't like the great value ones he liked the authentic ones so we haven't had to go back so he's been like okay i'll just wait until we um go back to the store so those things are like 12 dollars or 11 no i think they're like 14 dollars and some change i think that's what they are yeah they're expensive but they're good for his lunch um at school but i know at school they can get free lunch now but aiden is super picky so i'm trying to decide if i just basically send him and then let him try it but I don't want him to get to school and he don't have anything to eat because he doesn't want to eat anything. So I guess I need to look at the menu and then pick which days he liked it. Like if they have chicken nuggets one day or a hot dog, which he does like, um, I can just not send lunch then and then just let him eat there and see how that works. Okay, so we're gonna be adding 160. So that'll make us have 160 because we're not gonna have anything left. So we're gonna do 250s, one, two, three, and 320. So 50, 100. 20, 40, 60. So I'm going to go after this. I have a list, but I'm going to actually go back over, revamp the list and go back and look through the cabinets, look through the refrigerator to see if it's anything that I can cut back on. And um, so we can kind of get a little bit more in groceries. All right. So we got $10 left in gas and we're going to be adding $60. So we're going to be adding $320. So gas, I didn't do too bad because like I said, I live closer to work and Aiden's school is a little bit further where I got to drop him off at, but it's still not as bad as what it used to be. All right, so we got 20, 40, 60, 70. So we have $70 there. All right, so personal, I'm only going to give myself, we don't have anything in there. I'm going to give myself $20. So we got 20. I like to go to this health store that we have, y'all. I need to start being a little bit more healthy. Um, I was looking at the stuff. I need you guys to tell me. Have you ever heard of the sea? I'm sure y'all have. Sea moss. People have been talking about that like big time. So I don't know. I'm going to try to look into that and see what that does. Um, next we have Aiden. Did I? Oh, 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 oh. I just went past Aiden. Woo. Okay, so Aiden already has $20 in his and I'm still working on his binder which I need to get it together, y'all. I have been like crazy busy. Like I said, my little niece has not been able to come over to help me as much. So y'all, it's been, I, I have actually been, Aiden been like, you want me to help? And so, I mean, I let him do like little small things. So he feels like, he was like, I helped you mommy. And it helps me out a lot. So just for him just to be there. All right, so Aiden, uh, we're not gonna add anything to it. We're just gonna keep his $20 in there. So he had 20. So he's just gonna have the $20 in there. All right, so eat out. Um, we're actually gonna do 40. Um, so we're gonna do 120 and two tens. Aiden likes Marco's pizza. And um, 
I think we can do, he likes that or Zaxby. So I just thought that that would be something good for like family, 20, 30, 40. And I do have coupons for Zaxby, y'all. Do have coupons. I think I have some points for more of those too. I think I do. All right, so for Dollar Tree, we already have a dollar in here. Um, I'm actually gonna put this dollar in my jar. I know you can hear me little bell. Right, so we're gonna actually put that in there. All right, so that'll go there. So we're actually gonna just do $5. So that'll be $5 then. All right, so household, y'all, I went crazy and got a lot of household paper towels, cleaning supplies, um, the moist wipes. So that should be good for right now. We don't have anything because all of that is pretty much gone. I think it was like $70 in there. Um, so, but now we're just adding 10. So we're just pretty much building up. So we have $10 and then giving, um, I did get my friends some coffee. So I was, yeah. So that's where the giving went. You can always do something to make somebody's day. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're having a bad day, everybody else don't have to have a bad day. So, but yeah. And then I have some extra cash in here. And then I think I'm just going to put this in my $1 jar again. Ooh. Okay. All right. So I think we are pretty much done with that. Um, yeah. Oh, and I have to get rid of my coin. So I have a gun All right. So let's go ahead and add this up. So we got, we can do this in our head. So we got 20, 30, $31. All right, so we got $5, 15, 160, 70, 20, 20, 45, 10, and fall. All right, so we got 350. All right, guys, so we are pretty much done with our budget. Super easy, and that way we can make sure that all of our money has a job and is accounted for. All right, thank you guys so much for chilling with me through this video. We had fun. And then also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok is called The Pink Cloth Life. And I'm on Facebook now, so please follow me there. I don't think a lot of people know that I'm there, but um, it's called The Pink Cloth Life there. And then like I'll always say, until next time, guys, peace.